Good morning, everybody. It's 10 minutes past 7 o'clock right now. It is Tuesday. So, Jackie, you know what happens around here on Tuesdays. What happened? Ron, the car <laughs> guy, yeah. is joining us in studio right now. And not only did Ron show up this morning, you brought a very special guest because we have something really interesting to talk about that, to be honest with you, I don't think a lot of people were aware of. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people aren't aware of this. Uh, I, I did bring with me, I brought uh, Christy Jones from our Jones Collision Center. Thank you. And um, uh, I don't know everything, and she knows a lot more about the topic we're going to uh, discuss. So um, I thought I'd bring her along, but it was, it was kind of inter interesting. Um, I asked her to join us today because of her experience on this topic. So uh, recently I was um, reading a trade publication and, and there was a, a, a reference in there, this was a, a regional uh, publication, and it talked about uh, a bill that had been introduced by um, uh, Iowa Senator Brad Zahn. Ooh, we all know him. Yep, yep, he does a good job. And uh, the, the bill would require insurance companies uh, to inform consumers that they are not required to use a place the insurance company suggests to get the car fixed. And so oftentimes you'll get in an accident, you don't know where to go, right. and the insurance company says, well, take it over here, right. you know, we've got a relationship with those people. And, and um, but they also should probably let the people know it's your car, it's your choice, you can go where you want to. And, and for the fact that Brad is introducing this as a bill to try to become law, um, that tells me it's a problem. Otherwise, we wouldn't be trying to pass a law to correct it. Right. And so right. I, I talked so to Chris. So this is more on the insurance company's part to inform their customers. I, exactly. You don't have, you to, don't go have to, to go where we suggest you go to. But we are still going to suggest, but that doesn't mean it's, it's locked in stone. Yeah, I don't think you can prevent them from suggesting, yeah. but well, Christy probably has say, a lot more to share on this <laughs> than I do, because I'm sure she has to deal with it every day. Well, why right. is this such an issue in right. our state? Well, I, it, and it's something that I do deal with every day. You know, in, insurance companies are paying the bill for collision repair, and um, and the consumers, if they don't have a body shop that they're already working with, um, really don't know where to start. And then a lot of times they're getting um, told by the insurance company, you have to go here, or you have to go there, or you have to do this and that, and it. Uh, the consumer perceives that this is where, where I really have to go. I can't go anywhere else or the insurance company won't pay my bill. Is that just not knowing your rights with your insurance? A lot or? of it is, is, is education okay. and um, because, um, because there is no law on the book, they can do that. And, and so that's what Brad is, Brad is trying to prevent is, is allowing these insurance companies or allowing um, the consumers to know, hey, I can go where I want to. Um, it's it's a very murky um, murky waters when but it comes to isn't that. isn't it already in your insurance policy that we would say something like this, or it's not even in your insurance policy? You know what, I, I don't know who's read their insurance policy here. Yeah, no, I have oh. Nobody, who understands their insurance policy? <laughs> nope, yeah, not even me, who, know, who knows a little bit more about it. So um, it, it's, more than likely, it's probably not in there, but it's probably worded in a way that is very confusing. Okay, okay, yeah. that makes sense. So we're trying to help the consumer out by letting them know yep. they have a choice in the exactly. matter. Exactly, um, and, and like Ron said, your car, your choice. Um, your car is the, probably the second largest investment that you make. You wanna make sure that you are taking it uh, to a reputable body shop, getting it fixed properly. Um, if you look at, um, the, I don't want to say motives, but the insurance company takes your money, your policy, um, your uh, policy money every month, um, and then you get into an accident, um, they are trying to fix it for the least amount possible. Right. Because they want to make money off of your policy. And fixing it for the least amount possible may not be the best way to do it. Are there relationships between insurance companies and body shops, and that's why that is there are, yep. created where they're like, go here, go right. here? They're called direct repair programs. So the insurance company says, we're going to set up this program. Uh, you do most of the work for us. You take the, the burden off of us, and um, I send you more work. Uh, but you also do it for a little bit cheaper or quicker or maybe less quality. Oh, really? Okay. So you got to make sure you do your homework when it comes to that. Exactly. Yep. Now, when it comes to having an accident like that, maybe they're going to take it to a place that isn't on 
the, on the list Correct. that they get from their insurance company. Mm -hmm. How much work does the consumer have to do at that point? Do they have to do all the legwork then when it comes well, to the, all the paperwork and stuff like it, that? No, it depends on what body shop you go to. So I, um, um, I'm a um, former educator, so I, I like to teach consumers, and I will walk the consumer through the claims process. So um, at our shop, at our Jones, if you come in and you're like, I don't know what to do, I'm gonna take you to that next step. I'm gonna say, okay, this is what we're gonna do. Now you're gonna have to make the claim yourself, but then I'll walk you through the process. The consumer, the only responsibility that they'll have to do is, again, is bring their car back for the repairs. We'll take care of the rest. Um, I, I make it easy for them. They make the claim, they drop their car off for repairs. It can be pretty, it can be as easy as that. Where are we with this bill right now in the legislature? Um, I probably have a better idea than Ron does, but um, more than likely it's, it's, it's in the hands of the legislators. It, it probably will not be, um, it probably won't get taken care of this legislative session. I know they're supposed, I think their money runs out today. <laughs> they're not, they're, <laughs> they they're supposed to be, yeah, they're they're supposed to be boxes, done. Yeah. So Last day of work. I don't think this is gonna make it through this year, but um, I know Brad's a very great supporter of the auto body um, industry, and um, I'm sure it will be brought up again next year. But more than anything, does it just bring awareness to it this does. issue, like mm -hmm. we are this morning it does. Uh, with our and, viewers? Yeah, and this is um, not requiring insurance companies to use a specific shop is just one part of this bill. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of other stuff in it as well, too, that helps consumers and the body shops as well. There you go. Yeah. All right, now say somebody does have an accident, Ron, and one of the things that you're, you're known for is uh, being able to get some assistance out there, like with your AAA affiliation yep. uh, with a tow truck, and a lot of times they say, where do you want this taken? Does that all come into play, oh, too? Oh, it, it's, it, it's huge. I, I mean, we run, we run over 60 calls every 24 hours for AAA. And so, I mean, we see a lot of accidents daily. And, and almost always when we arrive, the people don't know where they want their car taken. I mean, we're, we're there to tow their car. We're like, where do you want this to go? And of course, they're in a panic situation. Right. They just it's, had an accident. Like, I don't know where to go. It's not the best time to make a decision. Yeah, and, <laughs> right. yeah it, it's Last a bad time to make a decision. Time, yeah. and, and, and they're on the phone. They're trying to call their insurance company. And maybe it's 7, 8, 9 o'clock at night. And, mm -hmm. and, and they're not getting an answer. And, and so, I mean, one of the things that, that I, you know, try to let people know is plan that you're never going to have an accident, but have a plan if you do. I mean, make the decision now. Go, go read some reviews online, to, you know, talk to some people, but know where you would go. You know, maybe, maybe you know, stop by Christie's shop or, or another reputable body shop and get a card and just put it in the glove box. That's but, not but, a bad but, idea. But, but ha have a plan because you're not going to think it, it, it's just a horrible time to make a decision. Mm -hmm. It's very true. So you want to think ahead and be educated about your options. Exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank Absolutely. you for letting us know this morning. Well, very I, nice I want to thank yesterday. Christy for thank you. thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah. Thanks Over for having on Merle Hay me. Road, I appreciate it. On, yep. on the Merle Hay Auto Miles, they always say. <laughs> That's Ron, right. what do you have going yeah. on monthly at your place? <laughs> well, Joe started this last week, and so I got to kind of honor it. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. That's right. He did. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're still doing the, the KCWI 23 special. Um, it's, it, it's for the whole month. It's all the way through the end of April, which, God, we're halfway past that already. Uh, but bring your car in, and uh, we'll replace your cabin filter for $23. That's a heck of a deal. It, it is a heck yeah, of a deal. Yeah, it really but, is. Yeah, yeah, sometimes the, that's the cost of the filter, let yeah. alone putting it in. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, if, you, if you're concerned about mold, dirt, allergens, or have that musty smell in your car when you turn the air conditioning on in these warm days, Come see us. Perfect. There, there's Westside Auto Pros, folks. 1901 Northwest 92nd Court. Just uh, Google it and get the uh, directions right there. 225-9090. Put that in your phone in case anything happens to your vehicle. Well, thank you both for being here today. Thank Appreciate you. it.